the whispers are here guys they are finally here but what's going on welcome back today i'm here to do my review of the walking dead season 9 episode 6 titled who are you now um spoiler warning in case you haven't seen the episode because we're gonna jump right into it i thought it was a great episode but other than that let's get started i really did like this episode and i'm happy i did because this was the first episode without rick. i mean there's been episodes in the walking dead without rick but this is the first episode with like life without rick grimes and it was really interesting to see and i thought it was really well done but man let me tell you not seeing andrew lincoln's name on the opening credits <laughs> kind of shattered my heart because i was like damn like his opening his name has been there since season one and lauren cohan's name wasn't there either um so i guess she exited the show silently but we're gonna have to wait till next week because they are going to the hilltop so there's gonna be a new leader but yeah i think maggie's gone too but let's start off in the beginning of the episode and talk about the opening minutes so i did like the opening minutes with michonne's voiceover while everybody was doing their thing and i liked how michonne visited the bridge and was talking to rick um because she hasn't forgotten about him and um you know it's been six years Michonne should teach Lori how to love somebody. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, I did like his opening minutes. Uh, Daryl, I, I did like what they did with Daryl. When Daryl's in the water fishing, that was pretty cool. Something about that, I don't know, it was the camera angle or something, but I did like that scene. It was really cool. But it was shortly destroyed by that CGI bird. Like, I'm sorry, I have to point it out, but that CGI bird, why? Like, I mean, it wasn't as bad as the deer, but it was still pretty noticeable. But other than that, I thought the opening minutes were really cool. I still don't have no clue how Daryl doesn't have long hair, but I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say he got haircuts. Um, but I did like what they did with Daryl, you know, living alone because obviously he's been hurt um, from Rick's exit. And just kind of reminded me of like season two Daryl when he would be living on his own away from the camp, you know, do, doing his own thing. I don't know if that was intentional. Probably not, but I still, you know, I, I do like what I did like what they did with Daryl, you know, living alone because that definitely makes sense for his character to do that because he's been through so much and he just lost his best friend in the apocalypse. So I get it. But let's move on and talk about the kingdom. We saw the kingdom for the first time in a while which is pretty cool henry we have a, we have an older version of henry and i and i did like henry this episode which i'm happy about because henry is going to be taking carl's storyline i believe i was about to say coral for some reason but yeah he is taking carl's storyline uh, i believe in some some storylines that is uh so i did like the actor so far i thought he did a pretty good job so i am interested in seeing more but when they were down in the in the pipes and ezekiel told Hen henry to watch his tone i don't know if that's supposed to be funny and like, or what but i kind of found that hilarious when he told henry to watch his tone um henry calling ezekiel dad and calling carol mom i found that really sweet and we saw that a lot in this episode characters calling each other mom and dad and it's really sweet seeing everybody have this family moment and obviously nobody's 100 percent happy because of the events that happened to rick and the new events that are going on but still seeing everybody as a family uh was really cool and the next thing i want to talk about is gracie because gracie called i did not expect that when aaron you know rolled up to alexandria and gracie said daddy i did not expect that at all but i'm happy it happened uh because i was a little worried they were gonna leave that and just like nothing was gonna happen to that storyline which i was gonna be like what the hell happened to gracie because i was even saying that before this episode like what the hell happened to gracie and we found out this episode that she is obviously like a lot older now um, and Aaron did adopt her, so it was pretty cool. But let's talk about the new characters. Magna, Yumiko, Luke, Connie, and Kelly. So my first impression of these characters, I did like them. I think they did a great job with the casting. And I did. I specifically love what they're doing with uh, Kelly and Connie with the sign language. Because they're doing it in a really cool way. Like, they're not just focusing on just the sign language whenever they do it. They're just in the background having their own conversation. And we still get the dialogue in the bottom. Like, there was a scene where, like, Magna, I think, was talking to Luke or something. And then we had have uh kelly and connie in the background and they had a conversation uh, or like she's translating for her and we, we have the dialogue in the bottom i think that's a really cool way of doing it so i'm happy they did it but yeah let's talk about the trial because that was really cool i thought the trial was really well done like the way they filmed it it was really good and it flowed perfectly like there was no weird jump cuts or anything like the whole like just watching that whole court scene i mean it really made it seem like we're watching a court trial in like a movie or something it was really well done they really made it seem like a actual court hearing with like when michonne exposed magna and everybody in the back was like whispering to each other like that's really what happens in like court movies and stuff so i did like how they incorporate that into the story but something that i noticed was um or something that i think was 
I, I do think in a way that the show benefited this episode without Rick Grimes, and let me explain why. Because Rick has met new characters and interrogated them since the beginning of The Walking Dead, so if he was there meeting Magnus' new group, it would have been like the same thing that we've seen before. But it was really cool to see how Michonne dealt with it and how the other characters dealt with it, and they have like a new court law and everything like that. So when Andy Lincoln said that, you know, the show, he thinks the show is going to benefit without him, Book is going to give other characters the opportunity to shine. I totally agree with him because seeing how the characters dealt with this new situation without Rick is really interesting. I think more interesting than if Rick was there to interrogate these new characters. And then obviously seeing these new characters deal with the next big group of villains, like the most evil villains we have, the Whispers, without Rick Grimes, that's also going to be really interesting to see. And Rick Grimes is still alive in the Walking Dead universe, so it still works out perfectly and I'm happy. So um, all in all, I am liking the change and I'm excited to see more. Okay, we have a talk about the elephant in the room Rosita and Gabriel um my jaw literally dropped when they kissed because I did not expect this in a billion gazillion years like no, no don't get me wrong like Rosita and Gabriel are both very good looking people just those two together I did not expect but hey my man father Gabriel is getting all the ladies in the apocalypse um now Rosita is one of the prettiest women in the apocalypse so good job father Gabriel but I just didn't expect it like I thought Rosita would be like with Eugene or Sadiq, but man, this Gabe and Rosita um, relationship, that was really a big twist, probably the biggest twist in all of The Walking Dead history, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I didn't expect it, but we're gonna have to wait and see how much more, uh, like, we're gonna have to see, we're gonna have to wait and pl see how it plays out to see if we like it more or not. Let's talk about the saviors, because this actually bothered me and pissed me off, like, why is the savior drama still going on? It's been eight years, you know, six years time jump, two year time jump at the beginning of season nine, you know, all that bullshit in season 6, why is this shit still going on? Like, I did not, like, I was not expecting this to happen, and I'm not really that happy about it. Uh, but Carol did end that really quickly. So while I watch the episode, I write notes. Like I write stuff that I know I want to talk about in my reviews. So I, in my reviews, I'm reading it right now. It said, I, I, when the saviors came up, I wrote, why is the savior drama still going on? And then right underneath that, I put, okay, never mind. Carol ended that shit real quick, which is something that I'm happy about. Carol just went full badass mode. Probably like, I think most badass mode since at least season six, when she shot down all those saviors in the road, like this was absolutely brutal. Like, but good shit, you know, good shit, Carol. Don't fuck with Carol. Don't fuck with Henry. Uh, for a second, I thought it was Henry, but then it revealed to be uh, Carol, and I was like, okay, I'm digging this. But yeah, this is some badassery from uh, Mrs. Carol, so I did like it. But um, I love how she said, don't, you know, don't hurt my son. Uh, so that was really cool. But yeah, I'm happy she ended that shit real quick. So um, towards the end of the episode, we saw, you know, Magna's group talking inside of the house, and they were trying to convince Magna to trust these people. And I did like how Magna went to go they really built that up in a way that I thought it was gonna be like um you know she's gonna do something horrible but then she just turned in the knife when she saw uh Rashon baby which is the next thing I want to talk about but I did like how she turned over a knife uh and now we know that they can be trusted even though maybe not 100% just yet because we never know but for the most part yeah they can be trusted so the Rashon baby got revealed and let me I, I words can't explain how happy I was when I saw that Rashon baby because man the Grimes, like, there is a blood Grimes out there somewhere. Like, the Grimes legacy continues. I'm so happy. But that whole scene when Judith, Rashon Baby, and um, I believe the name is Rick Jr. Somebody told me that. Like, like Angela King confirmed it was Rick Jr. And if that's true, that is absolutely awesome. Uh, but that whole scene in the house with uh, Rick Jr., Michonne, and Judith, I thought that was so sweet and nice. And uh, it was so sad when Judith said that the, the voices of Carl and Rick are fading away because that is the truth, you know. As humans, we forget stuff that happens to us when we were very young. And, you know, Judith, you know, her memory is going to start fading as she gets older. Because for me, I don't remember anything before I was five. Like, maybe my first day of school ever, I kind of remember that, but... Other than that, you know, it's true, you know, when you're a baby, your memory starts fading when you get older. So Judith was a baby when she lost Rick and, you know, Carl. So, um, her memory, and when she said that the voices are fading, that's going to be really sad. But the only the good thing about this is it's going to make the reunion between Rick and Judith even better. Because I am expecting a reunion between the two characters. So, uh, when they, re uh, when they reunite and, you know, Judith slowly remembers Rick, I think that's going to be absolutely beautiful and I really hope they do it. And I'm really liking young Judith. And a lot of that has to do with the actor, like, the young actress man she's a really she's doing a really good job with the character like her lines are very well spoken and 
I'm really interested to see more Judith um, because so far I'm liking what we've been getting with Judith and I'm happy what they did with the six year time jump because now the six year time jump doesn't even happen in the comics so I'm happy they went with this direction because it completely changed everything in a good way. Last thing I want to talk about is the whispers because I knew they were going to leave it as just kind of like a cliffhanger with uh, Eugene and Rosita but I did love the build up with the whispers because we knew those were the whispers and they were coming at Rosita and Eugene ever since they were at the tower and I did like the ending because we got more lines and it was so cool to see the whispers like actually interact with one another like we heard that where are they way back in July but now we heard them say like I think it said like um they have to be close and don't let them get away so seeing the whispers talk to each other was absolutely awesome and I can't wait to see more um, I wish we got a little bit more though because we got most of it in the trailer but still I'm excited for the whispers but yeah to give my final thoughts and to conclude on this review I love this episode man like each and every single episode of this season has been really good there's been no I mean if I have to rank the episodes from best to worst I know episode 5 is gonna be the best but after that I'm gonna be stumped because all the other episodes have been pretty good um, but yeah, I'm, I mean, it was the first official episode without Rick Grimes, and I thought it was uh, pretty good, and I'm excited to see the future of the show, and these new characters are interesting, the whispers are coming in, we only got two more episodes this year, um, for 2018, so, uh, I'm excited for it, but I am gonna wrap it up there, I have my, uh, breakdown for the promo for episode 7 coming out, uh, very shortly, so stay tuned for that, and obviously I have my breakdown for sneak peeks and all that jazz that we do every single week, so, if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, be sure to hit the subscribe button for daily walking that videos and i hope you guys did enjoy um if you did leave a like leave a comment leave your thoughts and reviews and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace